the synod of the youth, the church, Pope Francis, the young people themselves, made us to understand and told us loud and clear that there is a great treasure in our field. The way Don Bosco made himself a companion on the way, shared the material spiritual bread with the young people, his style in accompanying is so much needed today by the young people in the church, in the world at large. It is a real treasure from the spirit, because in Don Bosco is condensed in a splendid blending both the spiritual heritage of St. Ignatius. Just think about the spiritual exercises and the importance they had for Don Bosco and the immense inheritance of St. Francis de Sales. See the value of friendship and loving kindness in the preventive system. At Valdoco, all this is lived in an environment that is open to all and at the same time, transforms the life of those who enter that house and breathe the family spirit that circulates among them. When do we learn to treasure this oratorian heart? Shouldn't be within our communities and all the more so those where the first steps toward the solution life are taken, like for our parents and pre novices. The place and the time where one experiences this treasure one breaks it in. How are the years of initial formation able to strengthen and deepen this style of family living where the environment, group dynamics, relationships, one-to-one, -one, help everyone to bring out his best for the good of all? At the end of initial formation, do we own this treasure? Does it become part of us? Are we able to create this educative pastoral style of being companion on the way, sharing the material and the spiritual bread with the young people in whatever context we encounter them. Is not this oratory and heart of Don Bosco the purpose of all our formation? In his great joy, he sells all that he owns and goes to buy this field of treasure.